Let's make a name illustration. The name illustration is a work of art that features your name, but it's made out of images or different objects rather than just writing your name. The first thing we need to do on free draw paper is you need to take some time and brainstorm. Really think about what you're going to do for your project. Are you going to use your first name or your last name? I recommend using whatever one is shorter. For me, my first name is Kathy, which is much shorter than my last name, Tordson, so I'm going to go with that. Next, start thinking about things that look like the first letter in your name that also represent you. One of the themes I'm going to go with for my project is art. Obviously, I really like art, like many of you do, and so there are lots of different objects I can use to shape to make it look like the letters in my name. For example, a paint palette kind of looks like the letter C. Brainstorming takes time, so really think about what different objects you can use to write the letters of your name. I also really like flowers. Maybe I can use flowers and stems to shape to look like a letter. For like the letter A, I'm using paintbrushes and markers and pencils, anything that I can think of to shape to look like a letter. When you're done brainstorming, make sure to put your name and your code on the back of your final paper and flip it over. And here's the most important part. Draw light until you get it right. You need to draw light in case you make mistakes. You'll only get one final piece of paper. Very carefully, very lightly, draw out the letters of your name as they would normally look. That way you can see if you have enough space on your paper to then use your images to make the letters. After you draw that image on, since you drew lightly, then you can erase the letter behind it. Please take your time with these steps. The more time you take, the better your art is going to look. Remember, things that are on your brainstorm paper aren't as final. If you want to change things, you certainly can. I decided I didn't want to use the markers for the T, so now I'm trying to think of something else that I could use for the T. always draw lightly with this project. If you make a mistake, it will erase a lot easier than if you press hard with your pencil. Don't push down hard. Don't make any dark marks until you know exactly what you want to do. Now that you're done sketching out your images, use the crunchy taco technique to color them in. Remember, crunchy taco is hard on the outside, soft on the inside. I really like to use skinny markers to outline, to do the hard on the outside, and then I like to go in with a colored pencil and very, press very lightly to do soft on the inside. Crunchy taco technique is great because it really makes your artwork pop out at you by giving it that hard outline. Please take your time when you're coloring. Um, you certainly don't have to use skinny markers if you don't want to, but you do need to use colored pencils. You cannot just use all skinny markers on your project either. We want to show that some areas are darker and some areas are lighter. That creates depth in our artwork and makes our artwork look more interesting. So please try to use both, skinny marker and colored pencil. Yes, I feel like dancing, I feel like dancing. I was wearing my old clothes. 
my lord, I got on my new clothes now. I was wearing my old clothes. Well, I got on my new clothes now. Always remember to take your time when you're working on this project, erase any pencil marks that are left behind, and when you feel like you're done, raise your hand and let your teacher check it off, and voila, there's your beautiful name illustrations work of art. Have fun, you guys. <laughs>